next comic up, Robert Morgan. Thank you all very much. You all are great. Appreciate that support. Uh, I noticed some people are like whispering in between the comics coming up here. I think that's great, you know. I think it's good to have a good time. You want to talk to each other about it. You know what I've never overheard anyone saying when I get up here, though? Oh, yes, another white boy. <laughs> think he'll talk about his dick? <laughs> hope so, man. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, I... I do just, I gotta get something off my chest right now. I don't want to divide the room or anything, but I gotta tell a little story. Uh, my, my girlfriend has just been such a bee lately. <laughs> like, uh, the other day, I forgot to bring home some fresh flowers, and she stung me and died. <laughs> Some of you weren't laughing, I saw some of you pro B in here. I think we gotta save those suicidal little pricks. Nature's crabby little kamikaze pilots. Like... Don't even get me started on the queen bee, okay? What gives her the right? It's called democracy bees, get with the 21st century here. Figure it out. So I've been trying to, to find my calling lately, because uh, I know it's not standing in this basement and talking about bees. <laughs> I can't really hold a day job, so I've been really thinking about what I want, and I came to the conclusion, what I really want more than anything else in the world is to win the lottery. Yeah, yeah thank you, I'm going for it too. Yeah. <laughs> Earlier today, I sold everything I own. I bought eight lottery tickets. <laughs> the draws later tonight. Wish me luck. Thank you. Uh, I have been having trouble sleeping a little bit lately. I, uh, I actually knocked over my Amazon Alexa and it broke. Yeah, every night I'm going to bed now just having to make my own whale noises. <laughs> 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 Did you find that relaxing at all? A little bit? 20 bucks an hour, I'll do that in your room every day. I'll talk about it later, okay? We can start a bidding war if anyone's interested. Now, my, my dad has Alexa at his house and Siri on his phone. He doesn't know how to use either one of them. Like the other day, he pulled out his phone and said, Yo, Alexa, call me an Uber. Right. Siri did not have any of that. <laughs> who the hell is this Alexa? Is that who you talk to behind my back? You are the only John with an iPhone, you know. I have options, too. <laughs> yeah, he left his phone out charging one night next to the Alexa. That was a big mistake. I started gossiping a little bit. <laughs> Siri's fears got put to ease. She was saying, uh, Oh, you haven't even seen him naked yet? <laughs> Don't worry, I have some dick pics saved. I can show you. <laughs> Alexa was getting into it. I could hear him So, uh, my buddy is getting married. I'm not happy for him either. <laughs> but, but for his bachelor party, you know, I, I want, I'm a groomsman. I wanted to do the right thing, take him to the strip club, you know. Uh, but he, he attends regular religious services and, and he keeps kosher and, and respects the Sabbath day. And I was worried he was going to get uncomfortable. But I called around and thankfully I found I found a club where all the strippers are circumcised. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, I, I agree. Like, why do we why do we still do that practice? Like, not, and I'm talking about the circumcision, not the skipping. <laughs> uh, with circumcision, like, I I just don't think it works that well. You know, I'm I'm half numb down there, and it really doesn't stop any infections. <laughs> and it, and I I don't understand why we we don't just come out ready to go. You know, like. Why did God decide to tell us to do that? Why did he leave it up to someone who could make a mistake? Right? Yeah. And they say only 0.01% of circumcisions go badly. That's just way too many, right? <laughs> can ask anyone with a penis, or anyone who had one. <laughs> I, uh... I've been I've been looking for different work, but I was able to find uh, a part-time job actually recently as a, an underwear model, believe it or not. And it's for Mormon underwear, so you, you can picture I look just like this actually, but with uh, white gloves on and a nice veil. But, yeah, it's a little uncomfortable. Um, my boss likes to take my urine sample every single day. Uh, and I'm worried he's going to drug test me soon, too. <laughs> yeah, uh, I have been experimenting with sobriety, though. Uh, even today, uh, I spent the first 30 minutes of the day sober. <laughs> yeah. i got to figure out a way to find uh, to heat up my spoons a little quicker, is what I decided. <laughs> Here's a pro tip, uh, I learned this the hard way, do not use the microwave. <laughs> Big fire hazard. So, there, I was talking about, uh, oh, I'm getting the light here. Uh, so, I'll, I'll, end, I'll leave with this story. Uh, my grandfather, he's a, a really helpful guy, but he likes to give advice, but it's hard for him because a lot of the expressions that he uses are from a long time ago. Uh, so like the other day, he just he popped into my room when I was sitting there. He said, "Robbie, let me give you some solid dick." <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Grandpa! I mean, that's what I mean right now. This isn't just another dick joke, though. You know? <laughs> Back in his day, uh, solid dick meant straight talk, right? So he had to explain that to me. I know it's morphed into something else, straight these days. But I just want to give you some advice. I said, "Look, uh, if you want to be happy." You gotta, you gotta get out and you gotta start dating again. You know, you gotta, you gotta take care of yourself. You gotta hit the gym. So I took his advice. I started working out, bought some new duds, as you can see. And uh, before I knew it, I was getting more offers of solid dick than I knew how to handle. It. <laughs> Thank you guys. That's my time. Robert Morgan, give it up for Robert.